Hi. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you three ways of including videos or different ways of doing Pecha Kucha through a video. We're going to first put a video inside of a PowerPoint and automatically have it play in advance when the slides automatically play in advance. We're going to <clears throat> do another thing where you can do your PowerPoint and have a video floating on top of it while you're doing your PowerPoint. And then the third one is we're going to use QuickTime. All of this needs to be used uh, on, an IB, uh, on a Mac, and you may not have that, and I don't know what to do. Sorry. Hey, guys. So your Pecha Kucha uh, presentation is coming up in a few weeks, and I needed to show you a few things. Since we're going to be online, you're going to need to include your video along with your Pecha Kucha. So let's have this Pecha Kucha. Here we go. This is what it looks like, one of 20 seconds. Awesome. So what you're going to do is you're going to insert your pictures. Okay, so that's not hard. So insert, and then you can just <clears throat> find your pictures. We'll do an online one. Uh, let's go ahead and look at uh, composite materials. All right, composite materials. Boom, bam, cool picture. Awesome picture. Insert it. Uh, looking great. Awesome. You don't need these words. They get in the way. But... <clears throat> Part of the problem is, is you're going to have to do a video um, of you talking. So I'm going to teach you how to do that in just a second. But you're going to have to, my suggestion is take up half the screen with this. So, you know, figure out how to do that. You're going to do half the screen with this picture and half the screen with your picture. If you want, so maybe don't find rectangles. Rectangles might be a bad idea. So maybe a picture like this would be a better picture. We're gonna take this one. Oh, take this one away. We're gonna do this one. Ah, oh, that's a square. Squares are nice. All right. So we have a square here. We're gonna take up half, half of the page, and then your video will go here. I'll show you how to do a video in a second. I'm doing all of this on a Mac. I don't know how to do an IBM. Sorry, but I'm sure someone can. The application you can use is QuickTime. So it's very easy. You go into your applications and you get QuickTime, which is Q, QuickTime. You open this up. And then up here, you're going to do new movie recording. And that's going to be you right here making a video. Yay. Um, the cool thing is also is that if you hit record, you can see how long it takes. So let's try that. All right. So. Blah, 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 blah. It's going for fun. Okay, so I'm making this recording. Um, I want to make sure it's under 20 seconds. All right? Just under 20 seconds. And you'll understand why in a second. And you're going to need 20 of these videos. Now, depending on how many slides you do, it's how many you need to make for yourself. Bam. Perfect. So we've got this. Now, I'm going to save this as P... K1. I'm going to save it on my desktop. Save. Nice. All right. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go back to my insert and I'm going to go to video or insert video over here. And then I'm going to say from file. All right. And PK1. Bam. There I am. But that doesn't look good because of all of this white space. So I can crop it using these black lines and I can make myself look a bit more square as well. All right. And then I can move it around until I'm happy with how it looks. Okay. It's not that hard. There we go. Now here's the, but here's something you want to do. You want the video to start playing blah, 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 blah. It's going for fun. as soon as you start the show. So if you start the show right now, if you start the PowerPoint slide, it goes like this. This is already going. You know, nothing, nothing's working. So what we have to do, because we have this time bar down here, we need to do a few things. Number one, we click on the picture so that there's those little white squares, and we go to playback. And on playback, we go to automatically. Automatically. So it will start automatically. Then we go to animations. All right. Now we will choose the animation plane. Hold on, close this. Animation plane. 
Now, as you can see, the rectangle, that's our time bar, is set, and then our PK movie is set. So, does it work? Well, no. No, it doesn't. The bar was moving, but the, uh, what do you call it? The, the video didn't start. So, what we need to do is we will move this. You click on it, and you pull it up, and it will become the first thing, and it becomes zero. But we still want that timer to start going. So we need to uh, make this triggered start with previous. So now that's at zero, that's at zero. And in theory, um, we should see blah, 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 blah. It's going far and far. Okay, so I'm making this recording. Um, so I'm gonna add a couple of slides. Uh, the pictures, let's see, insert picture from Inlet, let's say Kevlar. What do you think of Kevlar? I don't know. I don't, you guys, you know what your pictures are. So we have Kevlar, and then I'll also insert a video, just to keep the video going, from file. And then it's P... Pechacucha one, I made another little video. But this video is longer than 20 seconds. So we're gonna have to fix that. Um, and to do that, if your video is a little long, you click on the video, make sure it has the white squares, yeah? You go to playback, you go to trim video, and then you trim it until, so right now I'm a little bit over 20 seconds. So I pull it and I can make it just at 19.5.08 and I hit trim. Then it should work. Um, so, and I want it to start automatically. Remember to start it automatically. That changed it to one, this changed to one. But we don't want that, we want it on zero and we want it on zero. Go to animations, animation plane, animation plane, animation plane. And we're gonna, we're gonna make this go up. We're gonna make this go up. <clears throat> we're gonna try again. There we are. And then we're gonna make the rectangle. We're gonna make this go to with previous. Now, let's see how it looks. All right. So, uh, in my 20 second video. Now the nice thing is, is it shows you how long 20 seconds is. Right? So for some reason, it's not showing us the time bar here at the bottom. The time bar is really going, but I guess it's not gonna show it. Yay, screencast. Just under 20 seconds. So it works out okay. So it automatically goes after 20 seconds. That's awesome. Great. So this is one way of doing it. I'm going to show you guys another way in just a minute. So one of the nice things about QuickTime Player is that you can do this. So if I open up QuickTime, I can do new movie recording. Great, right? It's recording me now. I can upload my PowerPoint. Uh, let's, let's open another PowerPoint. Open recent. Let's do this one. All right. Now, what I can do is with my QuickTime, I make sure that I have it float on top. And what that means is if I do this, it'll make my video sit on top of my PowerPoint. And so I'm recording while showing my PowerPoint and I can do it like this and then I click and then it can automatically go and it still has my face and it's still showing all sorts of cool things on my PowerPoint. Now, if you're gonna do this, you're gonna need to think ahead and save yourself space on top of your PowerPoint, all right? And then you can do a screen recording, which is what I'm doing now. So I'm doing screen recording, I'm doing, uh, what was this called? Movie recording, and I'm showing my PowerPoint, and I'm showing it float on top. These all are ways of showing your video with your PowerPoint, um, and you can set it up for Pecha Kucha, and then you can just present it like this. Uh, but like I said, you're gonna have to think ahead and, and, and save space for yourself here, okay? All right, and then there's one more way to do things, and I'll show you that in a second using iMovie. For this next part, you're gonna need to have your 20, uh, what do you call it? 
20 pictures already downloaded. Try to make sure your pictures are square. So like this, we're gonna save this image. I think that looks, this is all about Kevlar. Save, uh, save that, wait, and then save. Save it there. And then save. So that one's not really square, but we can fix it later. This one's more square, so we can do that one. Square is very important, and I'll explain why in a few minutes. So there. So now we have three pictures. Great. Awesome. Um, we're going to go back to our applications, and we're going to open uh, iMovie, like I was telling you earlier. Or is it iMovie? I'm moving. So this is the iMovie app. It's going to open up. All right. So we're going to create a new movie. Oh, yes, because this is the first time I've ever used it. So we're going to go to a movie, okay? Um, what you can do is you can here do this. Give me a second. Um, we're going to import. And we're going to import off my desktop. We're going to, where's my PK? PK. So we have PK1 movie, right? And we have Pecha Kucha movie. So we have this and we have this. So 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Uh, we can also do this, watch this. We're gonna download, uh, downloads, uh, content created, uh, no, that's not right. Okay, well, we can. That's just a picture. And we're going to take this picture. It's four seconds long. And we're going to drag it out for the entire 20 seconds, or however long the video is. We're going to click on this. Up here, it says cutaway. Make it split screen. And then we have me and the picture. Now, you can also crop it so it fits. All right. All right. And so what that ends up doing, and then here we'll have another picture. If we want, we can download uh, content created, content created, image, good. And then we can do this. Same thing. We come over here, and we drag it for the whole time. Right? And then we do picture and pic, no, split screen. And then this. No. You can switch it around, do some things different. Click on this because this is set to Ken Burns and we don't want that. We want it to fit. All right. And then me and then you and we're happy. And look. So then, uh, so 38 seconds, the video will look like this. Blah, blah, blah. It's going blah, blah. Okay, so I'm making this recording. Um, I want to make sure it's under 20 seconds. All right. Just under 20 seconds, and you'll understand why in a second. And you're going to need 20 of these videos. Now, depending on how many slides you do, it's how many you need to make for yourself. You know, 20 second video. Now, the nice thing is, is it shows you how long 20 seconds is right here. Um, and then you can keep that in mind while you're so boom. Presentation. <laughs> You've made a video with your videos, and you're not even using PowerPoint, and it's even easier than PowerPoint up to you make it however you want remember six minutes 40 seconds you can do it